Hello, my name is Eran and welcome to part 5 of my World 20 Master series. This is part 5.5. This is about the jukebox. This is the fifth tab from the left on your sidebar. Or, uh, this isn't available for players, this is for guides only. So if you're a player, move along. If you open the fifth tab of your sidebar, this is the jukebox. This is for managing all the audio tracks that you're using in your game. The main interface is here under Manage Audio. Click that button and here you will have all that is available. First of all, as you can see, I already have some playlists that I use for my other games. I can automatically add them to this game if I want. And all of the things that I've arrayed in the playlist can be automatically added. Or I can create a new playlist from here, rename it. And from the Tracks tab of the Manage Audio, I can select audio files I want to add to my playlist or just to my game. First of all, there are some things I've already uploaded that you can do from here. Just click and drag any audio file you want or click here to open a window to select a file. It will add them under your quota for storage in Roll20, so be careful about that. And from here, you can also add them to any playlist you've created or directly to your game. You can add tags from here. You can rename it and trash it. If you look at the top, you can see there are three other tabs here under Tracks. These connect to various audio services that you can use directly from Roll20. I recommend Tabletop Audio. It's a massive library of uh, ambient tracks for use with anything you want. For example, Battle. Now you can hear just the ambient sounds of swords clacking and horses. There are also some music tracks, if that's your thing. You can also search for tags by name or by tag if you want something horrific. To put your players in the mood. And you can manage everything from here. Now, once you've added a few tracks or a playlist, you can manage them in the game from here. You can set the audio, you can set whether you want them to repeat, you can play them directly from here, you can fade them in, fade them out, or delete them from this menu, and this link will send you to the source of the track. For example, this is from Tabletop Audio, it will send you to the Tabletop Audio website. If you have a playlist, you can play it from here with settings such as shuffle, or play them all simultaneously, or just play it all from beginning to end once. You can play each track on its own from here, like you did from outside the playlist. What I usually prefer, for example, I build a dungeon playlist for all kinds of dungeon sounds, set it to shuffle, and when I play it, it plays a random dungeon sound. You can also see which track is playing from which playlist, the time, the volume you can set from here, you can stop it, or you can skip to the next one. You can also create a new empty playlist from here, and one more important note, like we said here with Simulplay, you can also play several tracks at once if you want to create ambience from your own sounds. For example, you want sounds of birds, sounds of trees, sounds of insects, and then create forest from there. Just click play for whatever you want, it'll play them all simultaneously. And if you have the VTTES, you can do three more things that might be important to you. First of all, you can add a track from anywhere that you have a direct connection to an audio track. You can add them to a playlist, or you can add them to a new playlist, or just to the game. Just enter the URL, give it a title, set the volume, and you're clear. However, while tabletop audio is allowed to be used freely, please be careful with whatever tracks you're using in case you're broadcasting the game or something like that. And one more important thing about this thing is that if you want to use this, you and all of your players must install the VTTES, otherwise they won't hear the tracks. Also, this might be a little bit difficult from the start to use correctly. There is a guide online. Just look up Libre Audio for Roll20 VTTES and it'll explain everything. I won't get into it here. Secondly, you can export your playlist. It works the same way as every other export in this game. Click the playlist you want. OK, it'll export them. And again, you can choose the JSON file used from the export and import it into, the, into this game. Do note that uh, this is only references. So for example, if you have in the playlist tracks and the tracks don't exist inside the game, you probably have some trouble. And that's it for the jukebox. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.